Alright, no point biking. Alright, I've already got an encounter here, Sneasel. So, you know what? The Pokemon are actually going to be really weak, I think. So, I might just use a repel. That's not very weak. But I'm still going to use a repel. Of course that's not very weak. I got up here using Waterfall. Alright, come on. Where are you? I've got far too many items. Okay, there we go. What are you doing in my party? I gave that to my Kyogre. I've got another water stone. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's trainers here. What's down here? Let's explore and meet your falls bobber here. Why not? Never know. There might be a TM or something. That was a Ludotone if I heard one. Alright. Uh, too obvious. Oh, wow. There actually is nothing here. Okay. Let's leave those on. Alright, I'm battling these trainers. You were challenged by Battle Girl Tess. She sent out a Mian Shao, and you, my good sir, you sent out a Rose Raid. Your Rose Raid is now going to be fairly higher leveled, and you're going to drain this Mian Shao of all of its life force. And Rosa is going to level up in the process, and as a result, you're going to change over your party. The next guy looks like a dragon guy, actually, so... What better time? Alright. Do a battle with me. Yeah, we're battling trainers. <laughs> Dre. Oh, uh, Drayden before he got to... Uh, Drayden before he became a gym leader. Okay, that Altari is dead. I've missed a icicle crash before, so I was kind of hesitant about saying that immediately. And that nearly cost me Sneasel. But what's the Elite for? Uh... <laughs> I'm going to make a promise right now, I will not lose anyone in the rematches. If it comes down to I have to set up on everyone with Gyarados, that's what will happen. There's an item. It's down there. Okay. I'll see about going down there at some point. Double battle! We're always battling our Pokemon against each other, so we're confident. <laughs> Old couple, John and Jay. I'm actually slightly worried here. Yeah, I'm bringing Sneasel out. Espion, meanwhile. Alright, out comes the Gyarados. I never got to use this thing that well in the Elite Four, but I love the Espeon. I love it. Am I glad I didn't actually attack that thing? Alright, I'm not going to Mega Evolve. There's no need, because Espeon's going to kill this thing. You'll notice, by the way, Espeon now knows Grass Knot. That's because Metal Coat proved to be incre- That's because Hidden Power Steel proved to be incredibly pathetic. You noticed it didn't even kill Glalie. So, yeah, Grass Knot instead. Now put back on my- nope. There's Steven. Try 
Draconoid. The Draconid. Lord Rayquaza. <laughs> More lore about Mega Evolution. Alright, so Xena is trying to summon Rayquaza so that Rayquaza can destroy the Meteor Land. Okay. Why does it require to just do that anyway? I have to go to Devon. Will I have to go to Devon? Yeah, I can go down here. Good. Yes, I will use another one. Ah, okay. Well, I kind of want to go that way then, because I know there's an item down that ladder, if it's the ladder, and if it goes where I think. Yeah, it went where I thought. Okay. And then I can just leave. Let's continue with the dial episode, yeah? <laughs> Alright. I found a star pe- That's not as good as I was hoping. Golbat. Golbat wants to turn up all of the time. That water looks almost dive worthy. Oh, ooh, TM. Oh, a Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is pretty neat. I like Dragon Claw. I mean, I don't think anyone on this team can learn Dragon Claw. <laughs> kind of thing, no one can learn Dragon Claw. I think out of anything I've captured, to be honest. Alright, so we're now going to leave. Um, I noticed there's a Pokemon that I've not actually properly encountered here. Okay, wandering around. Ooh, I am. PP. Ooh, PP Max. I like PP Max. Uh, it's not a way. This isn't a way. Okay. Although I did notice that it changed the Pokemon sets there, so. I find it funny how you can find Magikarp in here. Because you'd think it would be Gyarados at the very least. I seriously love how that water... How the underwater of that... How, how under that water looks. It definitely... It really looks like it's inviting me to use Dive. Despite the fact that I can't use Dive here, I think. If it turns out I can Dive into that, then I'm going to eat my words at some point. Not right now, though. I like my words. Alright. Come on. It's this tiny patch of land. Stardust! Okay, Stardust. <clears throat> I was ready to sound all excited. I haven't actually touched the street pass of this thing apart from the Eon ticket. I should probably get. I should probably do that at some point. I just went down the wrong bit, didn't I? Oh, 
Oh, wait, there's an exit here. Okay. The whole route up, please. Alright, let's just leave. Now, like I say, I don't think I've been at this side before. I don't need another repel now. Um. So I think it's worth a quick little glance around. How long ago did I stop using them? Alright, okay. He was going back to Devon, so actually this is a good way to go anyway. So that scientist is obviously Barry. Oh, Aqua. Wait, did they say it's the same grunt as... Okay. Rematch time, then. Might Yana. At least Team Aqua are turning up. Although I could swear Archie said he was going to reform the team. To a degree. Alright, Sneasel's going to level up. I'm going to figure out whether it needs to be at night now. Because I'm pretty sure it does. Why would you taunt a Sneasel? <clears throat> okay. Alright, Sneasel's leveled up. We're going to find out whether the Razor Claw needs to be at night or not. Because I'm pretty sure Sneasel needs to level up holding the item at night, and Gliscor needs to level up holding an uh, Gligar needs to level up holding an item at night as well, actually. I think they're both night. I'm sure it's a time of day that they need to be. Alright, go with that. Psychic. Die. I would have been so happy if this thing had magic bounce. It would have been perfect. I love Espeon. Espeon's quickly becoming my favourite evolution. Am I destined to lose to you all the time? Yes. More grunts. Sneasel did not level up, by the way, so I think I'm right. It has to be at night. Uh, Sneasel did level up. Sneasel did not evolve. <sighs> Alright, Muck. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to use. Let's see. Who can take a physical hit and deal super effective physical damage? <laughs> Ooh, Gardus is going to level up from this as well. There's a Pokemon Center nearby, so uh, yeah, I don't mind the poison. Alright. Mega Evolve, Earthquake. Something I am as slightly miffed about is how Pokemon, it's not really changed its, um... How do I say this? Not sure. I don't like how they've not, uh, not fixed the frame rate issues that they've had before. If that makes sense, yeah. Pokemon X and Y was played. Uh, Pokemon X and Y was really poor with its frame rate once a lot of stuff started happening on the screen, as games get. But Alpha Sapphire doesn't seem to have addressed that. Alright, there's another grunt going. How many grunts are there in that building? You might as well have just thrown me into a horde. Alright, go about. They're not even particularly powerful either. This one's weaker than the others! How much do I bet Sneasel's going to. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. Alright, Haze. Why Haze? Well, actually, this Espeon knows Calm Mind, so it might have been useful at some point if it weren't for the fact that I don't need to use Calm Mind. 
That's another thing I could do at the Elite Four. Gyarados could set up Dragon Dances on something, and Espeon could set up Carmines on something. I'm pretty sure Espeon will be fast enough to outrun the Elite Four anyway. Alright, Sharpedo. Let's send out Azumarill. I know this thing can no poison fan. And then Stair is going to take to the front of the party because Stair will be the only one level 57. Okay. Makes no difference to me. I'm still really surprised that Xena's Tyrantrum managed to take a hit from... Oh, Azumarill did not level up. Shows what I know. Is that it? Okay, good. Why would you give me another Great Ball? He was about to give me another great ball. Alright, I'll put Stair to the front anyway. Alright, and uh, Moss Deep. I need to go on Moss Deep, and I'll need to heal now. So, yeah. Okay. So far, the Delta episodes. It's alright. It's not wowing me. And the Delta episode is probably going to go on hold when I encounter Rayquaza, because I'd like to focus on getting a, a good Rayquaza while it's there. Um, and because Rayquaza is a f bloody forced encounter, that pisses me off, because it breaks the rules of this thing. What I'm probably going to do with Rayquaza is I'm going to swap out one of my team for the Synchronizer that I'm going to set the nature with, and then um, the Synchronizer will be the Pokemon that I'll send back, Okay. I am going to put. I am going to show on camera me just battling Rayquaza, okay? And if anything happens during that battle, like if someone faints, then you'll see it. That Pokemon will not be on the team, so yeah. But I am intending to let Rayquaza die during the Xena battle. Uh, during the Xena battle, that I assume is going to follow it. I don't actually know if there's one if there's gonna be a Xena battle at that point, but given her status, I assume she's gonna battle us at some point near Rayquaza. So Alright, that's an obvious horde encounter. Stair is at the front. Okay. I don't like how I've been spoiled a fair bit on the Della episode. Alright, so I'm going to be battling Matt and his one Sharpedo again here. Alright. Ready? Because I've got Surf. Let's see, a horde of Might Yen. It's still Might Yen. It's still them. Okay. Well then, one surf later. Wow, it is going to be one surf later. They're level 25. Looks like they're ready to battle people who use Earthquake, though. <laughs> Alright, surf. That should one shot everything. And Stair got that much experience and leveled up, which means Azumarill's probably going to take the lead now. Azumarill will also easily handle Matt's one Sharpedo. But we can't stop him. 
Were they talking about Matt or me? Because there's no reason for them to stop Matt, and I'm the f I'm May. I'm the female protagonist.